all right guys welcome back to my basic uh casual videos today we're going to be looking at uh fifa or soccer um i don't really see a lot of uh videos on how to play uh formation like this 11 v 11 um especially for wingers i really don't see a lot of videos on them so i've uh decided to make a tactical review um so i'm with a uh, with an amateur team right now and we are trying to figure out pretty much how to play as a team in a sense um tomorrow i'm gonna be trying out for uh division one uh not a college soccer team but um, I'm gonna be trying out for uh, I think an EPSL uh, team level team and uh, anyways I'll be either playing winger or striker and recently I've been playing as a winger it was just a few days ago like Saturday when I tried uh, when I stepped in uh, because I was striker uh was having a, a a hamstring or something something with his leg was off so i have two things here uh, this one is a lot clearer um anyways i play with uh play number seven and uh yeah this is really this i don't think this is our formation um this is more like our formation with the team that I'm on right now. And we have, I think, two games together, and that's it. Um, anyways, uh, most of the teams that we go against uh, usually play something like this, where they have a lot of guys in mid, and they have, I think, like three guys back. But these guys, these two guys, also drop all the time, so... Um, I think the team went against was like this recently. All right, so um, all right, how to play winger? So if the ball starts on your side of the map, right, on your side, right, your goal right now is to save your energy because your number ten will be doing all the work. All right, if the ball starts with your number 10 checking in with another player, right, he's probably going to pass the ball back to your 6, and then he's going to track back, or he's going to track sideways down to try to make a triangle, right? That's what mostly your number 10 will be trying to do, trying to uh, find the ball and try to maintain it so that you can pass somebody else. The problem with our team is that once we get the ball, it's really hard for us to to let go of it and also for us to give short passes to each other and i'm gonna grab the ball here say he passed it to the number uh, six there right once you get this ball right instead of you passing it like forward for the most part you probably want to pass it back because at that at that point the uh the uh, oppo opposing teams uh, will probably be up here trying to engage. And when the match first starts, right, there is a lot of energy from both sides. But the most important thing to do at this point is to just try to maintain the ball, try to save your energy, maintain the ball, try to find your number 10 when he shows up and call for it, and just do tiki taka passes. Right, short passes, short passes, short passes always win. If you watch any uh Premier League or uh, any popular team, uh, Barca, Barca or whatever you call it, is probably the most popular with like Real Madrid and uh, Chelsea and teams like that. Well, Real Madrid and Chelsea they play differently. Barca is popular because of the short passes that it do right because short passes is is uh energy conservative and it just it just 
it helps a lot with uh, an actual player and it helps you uh, make moves when the moves actually counts you know and you can save a lot of energy during the matches and especially when you are spending 45 minutes in a match uh, about hour and stuff like that during your matches right it's very important for you to save your energy so when the match first start don't panic it's not it, it's not time for you to immediately start attacking them it's uh it's actually time for you to just try to get that tempo try to get that that understanding between you and your your teammates and start to pass the ball so as i was talking about the winger when you get on the your team have the ball like that you can track forward here uh, because at that point right you are trying to gather them in the middle the enemy uh your opponents you want to gather them in the middle or try to get them to push up a little bit and then when that time comes you are going up and you are making a correction sign like whoop like that right so you move your your character i mean you move your uh yourself up a little bit the ball passes right just in case you need to make that triangle as well right when your number seven has it he can punt it to you and then you punt it back and in that time you get your number five coming in a little bit you give that ball down you track into him somebody else will be marking you right you have the enemy or the opponent team will probably be like here you come from up here a little bit your five is spread out down here a little bit you guys own the ball now so he's not trying to lock in the defense he can spread out a little bit so that you guys can have spaces to pass each other the 10 check into this guy he checks into you immediately there will probably be somebody on you so you check back right you check into your number five your number five step up a little bit these guys will start stepping up a little bit to lock in he's gonna step up a little bit to keep track of uh, where the ball is gonna fly this guy will not go too far up but these guys will be probably coming in right so you check in here and then he start looking for that run he come down we're gonna check into him they are gonna be these guys here these guys here on him because it's gonna be intense right depending on the uh on the league that you guys are in it's gonna be quite intense then these guys are gonna step up your number 10 is probably gonna be up in the middle here trying to find space or trying to pretty much trying to find a way that if any ball enter here you can probably hold it for a while to have the, uh, the rest of the team catch up so your 10 will not really be with you uh your number two will probably be the person down here so check into you if you can beat this guy with your first touch you left you are left with this guy and you are left with this guy and this guy will be cautious to come in he won't come in unless uh, this guy is a little bit forward here and then he's gonna tuck in a little bit and then your 10 is probably gonna start slowing coming down here or trying to make that run to get the ball somewhere because you are the, uh, you are the uh, winger and you're gonna probably be finding trying to find that that angle to send that ball in for your striker to uh, put it in a goal obviously so you get the ball here you make that run hopefully you don't get stopped by this first guy you tuck in a little bit you're gonna be locked down this guy here should be up if he's good um, that's why we're sharing this anyways he should be somewhere up here trying to find you and if you get stuck here right usually when you watch a match the, the wing girl usually just run all the way down here and then at that point you will have this guy down here right and this guy will probably tuck him back upwards and these guys will be tracking back will be tracking back like that 
so it's up to this person here to try to find this guy right um this person will be able to to keep up but he won't be leaving too far right in most of your matches uh your your fullback or whatever um these guys uh, right back left back these guys will not be going all the way through they will step up a little bit but they won't be you shouldn't be expecting them to go all the way through to come to help you so once you get that ball if you mistakenly run all the way down here and there's somebody with you try to give the ball back here or track back in and then he's gonna follow you and then you turn one more time and then you run this way at that point hopefully you have you will have beat him beat this guy and your uh, number 10 will probably be somewhere up here waiting for that ball and that's how you send that ball in right that is when you guys have the ball now if you guys lose you're gonna have to start tracking back now instead of sprinting back you will be jogging but with water water strides and that's the difference between uh, the wingers and the uh, regular players um, you should know how to pace yourself you should know how to run uh, because you will be running a lot and when this once these guys get the ball they'll probably spread out like this and start to send the ball back your number 10 would not be able to make it back in time for the most part he will be probably staying up here um, this is in the middle of the match so your 10 will probably be trying to save his own energy as well because he's going to be doing most of the work uh, distributing the ball around so he's going to track back but he's not going to track back too fast it's going to be up to this guy to track back fast and for these guys to cover up right so they're going to start holding and the most important thing as a center uh, defensive mid uh, you don't want to rush in pretty much because once the middle is empty that's when dangers uh it become dangerous for your team so you want to track in and try to hold this space and you will be jogging jogging sideways for the most part most of your matches you won't be jogging forward uh, for the most part you will be jogging sideways and if you know how to, to jog um, in direction like that you'll be able to save your energy you'll be jogging backwards a little uh, as well and stuff like that so these guys will be doing long strides all the way back saving your energy right because if you could win the ball while you are running back here and then you go up a little bit and then you lose it again and then you have to track all the way back so if you are going full sprint you're gonna lose all, the, all of your energy and that's how you play strike i mean uh, uh wide or winger now once you guys fight for the ball or the ball is all the way in your defensive half right these guys will be all the way back you will have blues in here you have blues around here you have blues here blues here right the enemy uh opponent winger will be tracking in as well it is your job to quickly start finding the opponent winger because he could i mean they could pass in the ball uh, while you are up here and you don't want that to happen so you want to track back in uh, for the most part this guy will be up trying to uh, slow things down again this is why you don't run forward uh, directly when you are defending against uh, a, a counter attack uh, you will be you'll be jogging backwards slowly and trying to track sideways and stuff like that just trying to hold so that the rest of your team can catch up with you and everybody track back and hopefully I can win the ball again and then you will remain here if you are here you will track into the ball the ball will come to you you will give you will hold a little bit wide he will probably pass back the ball to you if he's not looking in the right direction if nobody says switch it he might not switch it so in that case instead of you just turning around and trying to force it you just send it back to that number six and that number six will switch it 
and then you will start tracking in, tracking in. What if the ball is all the way up here? And this other winger is going this way. Your job is to track in. So your your run is gonna be like a like a C, right? You're gonna curve. You're gonna go slowly like this, down, 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 down. And then you start curving inwards. And as long as this guy has the ball, you really can curve all the way in, right? It's your job to balance this out so instead of you going all the way in you will probably be tracking wide a little bit you will mean outside a little bit just for that rebounds it's your number 10 job to track in you'll probably be pushing down a little bit too your number nine will be pushing up to support that 11 your number two will be on the line here number six will be up a little bit and these guys will just push up a little bit to make that line. The ball will come in. The wing will probably try to push that ball to go down to number 10. And your number 10 will be down here. Your number 9 will come here. Number 2 will be here. As your number 9 move up, your number 2 will move up even further. So the ball will either come down here. Number 9 will move down. Number 10 will try to find number uh, 9. That ball will come down here. He will probably give it back or give it back to number 10. At that point, you will be wide. And once that number 10 start coming in, you will probably be trying to make that, that run around the defense. And once, you, once your number 10 sees that and probably put, put it through to you, you can either cut straight in and try to get that shot in, or you cut in and then try to find this number 11 here. Number 11 will not be in here. At this point, he will also be, be he will also be wide, waiting for that ball to get crossed, and for he's gonna be looking for a header, right? Or you will probably cross it in to that number nine. Number nine will immediately track it back to the number 10. Number 10 will get a good shot on goal because you get a full view at that point, right? You, you send it to number 9. The defense is all the way in here. Number 9 send it back to number 10 with a reset. Number 10 now has a full view on everybody. Number 9 will start to track back. Number 11 will start to tuck in. You will start to track back a little bit. Just in case number 10 can make it through. But for the most part, once your number 10 is around here, they will probably start looking for shots. If they, if there's a rebound, you'll be back here. If it's something that you have to track in, you will already be halfway towards the uh, defense side, the defensive side. Again, all of this, you have to keep track of it as the match goes on. So. Uh, that's why it's a bit difficult to play winger than uh, most of the roles here because these guys have to keep track of one thing you, uh, one or two things you as a winger have to keep track of how much gas you have in your tank and where you should be as the ball moves around and also how to balance the overall team Right, your goal is to stay wide and also to tuck in at times. Right, so uh, that's basically it. And if you can do that, you'll be pretty good. Uh, you might want to be trying out for a uh, winger. I'm not sure if they have space for me on that team, but if it goes well, I might have a couple more matches with them. And uh, Friday and Saturday, I also have two uh, official matches as well. So hopefully those goes well. And thanks for watching.